And we have new details tonight in our exclusive I-Team investigation. The investigation we showed you yesterday about practices at two area dental clinics has now prompted some really strong public reaction. Small Smiles, which is a national chain of clinics, exclusively treats Medicaid children. But how the young patients are being treated is raising an outcry. The I-Team's Roberta Baskin here now with more on this story that did raise such a noise here. We have been flooded with emails and from calls from viewers, many of them disturbed to see and learn how children are handled at Small Smiles. Our investigation, Drilling for Dollars, raises serious questions about the vast difference in treatment given to children on Medicaid and those who can afford private insurance. Here's just some of what we found. A policy to separate children from their parents, strapping small children down on papoose boards so they can't move, radiation exposure by uncertified x-ray technicians, contests among clinics to do the most dental work, baby root canals and capped teeth, and employee bonuses for making daily financial goals set by the home office. These policies and procedures prompted a public outcry, including from this pediatric dentist in Maryland. Most of Dr. Winifred Booker's patients are also on Medicaid, and she sees about one patient a day from the Baltimore Small Smiles Clinic. She says most come in traumatized, especially fearing the papoose board, which she doesn't use. When a child usually comes in and they understand that they're back in the dental environment, it's a lot of crying, and initially, even before we get to take the child back to the treatment area or to the area where they're going to just brush, simply brush their teeth, they're crying and upset. It's the Health and Human Services Inspector General's office that oversees the multi-billion dollar Medicaid program. And in response to our report, they've set up a special hotline number for information about Small Smiles clinics. We will look into these matters and determine whether or not there are criminal violations or civil violations, and we will act accordingly. Roy promised a thorough review of these clinics. And we'll continue to monitor the monitor this story, and some of it is coming from the stories that you tell us, so keep talking to us. Yeah, and it seems like folks out there are ready and willing to talk to us about mm -hmm. this. Yes. All right, nice work. Coming. Yeah, Thanks. keep that coming in here, folks, because we want to hear your comments. And we'll also have the Inspector General's hotline on our website for you, so check into that and log on to WJLA.com.